Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert says she's no longer running for re-election in Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, instead running in the 4th District. Our Devin Karp able to sit down with a political scientist to learn more about the move, why it may not be the solution to the incumbent representative's problems. Devin? Yeah, Rob, Representative Boebert faced a tough race last year against Democrat Adam Frisch, winning her District 3 congressional seat by just 546 votes. Now, as she prepares to transition to District 4, she leaves behind a competitive District 3 and a tough race for the candidates who are left. Today, I am announcing my candidacy for the 2024 Republican nomination to represent Colorado's 4th Congressional District. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert took to her Facebook page last night to announce she was leaving the race in Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, a move that's not surprising to political scientist Josh Dunn. She was going to lose, uh, so she's just trying to say salvage her political career at this point. Dunn, a former UCCS professor, says Boebert's 546 vote win against Democrat Adam Frisch in 2022 was was a smaller margin than expected for a Republican-leaning district. You look at the 2022 race, she barely won uh, in that, and then you go into 2024, the environment is going to be even more inhospitable to her in that district. The third district is reacting to her move. Republican candidate Russ Andrews says he wishes her, quote, a successful run in the 4th Congressional District. It is an open seat that we need to win for Coloradans and to keep our majority in the House. While Democrat Adam Frisch, who's running again in 2024, stays Stated, quote, Bobert is running scared from CD3 because she knows she can't match our campaign's ability to connect with voters and the hard work we've put in to provide them with a common sense voice in Congress. Yeah, he obviously had to feel confident going into 2024 if he was going to be facing Lauren Bobert. Dunn says the shakeup could affect Frisch's chances in 2024 if he faces a candidate with less scrutiny than Bobert. You know, most races we know now how they're going to wind up, you know, just because of the, the way the districts have been drawn. That one's competitive enough that, um, we might not know the outcome un until election night. Dunn also says just because Boebert is switching districts, that doesn't mean it's the solution to her problems and that she still faces a tough primary race in 2024. But still, they're gonna, th these other Republicans who've already tossed their hat in the ring aren't going to say, oh, well, please come and we'll just uh, cede the nomination to you. Uh, they're they're going to challenge her and they're going to say that she's out of touch with the district. She doesn't know what's going on. She's from the Western Slope, all of those things that you would normally expect hey, to see. Now, Boebert is allowed to switch districts as long as she's a resident of Colorado, and she says that she will move to the 4th District at some point in time. Primary elections in Colorado take place on June 25th of 2024. The 2024 election is on November 5th. We have reactions from the Pueblo County Republican and Democratic parties on KOAA.com. In studio, I'm Devin Karp, News 5.